Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be trying some squeegee art. Let's get right on into it. What you'll be needing is some paper, of course. I just have a sketchbook. Some paints. I got these at Walmart for like not even a dollar. A paintbrush. I only use this to make dots with the paint. This is optional. Some black and white paint. So let's start off with a blank piece of paper. So squeegee art is super simple. You just place a crap ton of paint, squeegee it, and it makes a masterpiece. It doesn't matter how you put your paint as long as it's on there. So I'm gonna take some of this pink and I'm just gonna make a crap ton of dots. I'm just gonna drip some paint on there, small or big, doesn't really matter. I'm do a line up there, do a little line right there. Stick some yellow. of white, hopefully. And we'll do a couple of little tiny dots of this black. So I'm just gonna squeeze some out. Take this and just put a couple of dots ah, here and there. And then now, Squeegee. Got all this paint left over, and I just wiped this all off on a towel. Now, you can stop here, or you can add more, going in like different directions. So I see a little bit more paint right here. I'm just gonna have it go up. It's a little bit different, so like a little different there. Okay, I'm gonna get some yellow. I'm gonna get the tiniest bit. Right there. I'm gonna just have it go straight. I got a little bit more there, but it's fine. Squeegee aren't supposed to do that. Always wipe this off so it's a clean, clean squeegee. Not like squeaky clean, but no wet paint. I'm gonna have another white right there. I'm gonna have it go down like that. So we'll just go like that. And I'll just get the rest of it. And go up here. Oh, and there was apparently some more wet paint that I collected. It still does not look cool. Let's go one more time, but we'll go down. See, that looks so cool. You can stop here, or you can add more paint. I am gonna stop here, because it looks so cool. I, of course, did this some more, and I was playing around with the dots and everything. Here's one that I came up with after doing this one. I had some fun with like the block grids right here. And I didn't go all the way down, but it's fine. And then I was having fun with like barely any dots and some more of those color grids. That didn't work out that well. I didn't put as much paint there, but still you can make cool art from just drops of paint a little squeegee. Let's do it one more time. Okay, this is like really watery, so I'm gonna be very careful. That's super watery. I hope this turns out good. Okay, I'm gonna do some more drops. And I'm gonna make a line from here to there. More purple drops. Okay. 
and this can get a little messy. I mean, like, look at my hands. Get some yellow. Have fun with it. Some of this pink. It's look like a Jason Pathmark painting. It's literally, it's paint's almost out, but whatever you can get down. Of course, our white paint. This looks cool on its own, but we need to squeegee it. I'm gonna try to like wave it a little bit. And yeah, as you can see, I got paint on my table. But it's fine. It's a glass table, so once it dries, I can peel it right off. Take all this off. So I'm gonna do a little strip right here. And I'm gonna go up. Ooh, that looks cool. And get a little bit of the yellow. And there we go. Look at that. More cool art. Just flinging some paint around and going down a squeegee in different ways. Use layers as often as you can because the more layers you have, the more cool it looks. Try it and then tag me on Instagram. I want to see all of you guys' amazing squeegee arts. So yeah, this is a little messy. As you can tell. <laughs> but it is super fun to do just with a friend, with family, whenever you're bored. And it's like really calming to do because you don't have to be perfect. Just throw some paint, squeegee, masterpiece. If you guys made it to the end, comment down below if you're gonna be doing this anytime soon and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to tag me on Instagram and follow me on the socials. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!